What's up peeps, welcome back to Rebounding Safety. Today we're talking all about PPE for the safety professional. So if you're a consultant, advisor, traveling around loads of different sites, loads of different industries maybe, then this is the perfect video for you if you're wondering about what PPE to get. We're gonna talk about all the PPE that I carry with me, how I carry it and how much it's cost me and why I have it. Let's go. What's up people, welcome back to Rebound and Safety. My name is James from uh, Risk Fluent Limited, the consulting company that covers everything from Sheck, Fire, Culture, Behaviors, Human Performance, whatever. Also from Risk Assessor Pro, the best and most cost-effective app for RAMs. So let's get into PPE for the safety professional then. As a safety professional, you can travel around so many different sites, particularly if you're doing what we're doing, which is consulting. One minute I'm on a roadside, next minute I'm in a construction site, then a quarry, then a factory, then an office. And it's a nightmare to know what PPE is best to have. So I'm gonna go through what I carry and what I have in the car every single day, so hopefully that will help you. Let's start off with the hard hat. Because this was an interesting choice for me because ultimately we've got some customers working on really specific sites with specific requirements for hard hats. And these are people that work significant height. So a big requirement was a chin strap, which currently is tangled around the helmet, there we go, um, is a chin strap. So we've got the cask plasma helmet. I've got it in white and I just have this. Now, in the beginning I had this and then I had a normal hard hat, the one you see on any normal construction site, and a bump cap and, a night and it was just a nightmare. So sometimes where you only need a bump cap, I'm still wearing this. So it can look a bit stupid, particularly because I've got the added extra of the hearing protection on the side. For me, this is just all about ease. I don't want to carry too much. I just want one hard hat for that rules them all, so to speak, right? I wanted the Sauron of hard hats. So I went for the cast. Why did I go cast? Because I like cask. I go on the road bike a little bit. I've got a cast helmet. I just like them. I like their style. I like their brand. I like how it looks. Um, so the one for me, if you're, big into rope access, working at height. Cask is not up there with the best. They, a lot of people like the JSPs and the Petzels are like the big, big kind of leaders in that space. So um, for me, it works perfect. Not the most expensive, but still not cheap at all. So the helmet on its own comes in white, red, green, orange, and black, and it's gonna cost you anywhere from around 50 quid to 70 quid. And for some strange reason, the color does massively affect the price. So I think white was around mid, mid range. I've then got the ear protection attachment. So you can see here that we've got the two ear protections on the back, and then I can turn these around and put them on there. Now, the reason I went for these is one, because it's just a hell of a lot easier to have this. Um, again, I look like a bit of an idiot walking around a factory with this on, but for me, it just made a lot of sense. Because I wear hearing protection all the time, if I was to wear normal like inner ear protection, I have to kind of take my hearing aid out, put the hearing protection on. It's just a pain in the ass, so it's much easier for me to just have these. Um, it's nice and comfortable. You've got the back uh, clasp at the back, which is just nice and easy. You turn it and it tightens up, and the chin strap is nice and comfortable. And then you can just push on the hearing protection and you're off. And that's it. If you want to take it off, you just unclip it there, push it in, and clip it back to the hard hat and you're off. So nice and comfortable. Can get a bit heavy at the back of the head if you wear it for a long day. To get the hearing protection attachment on here, you do have to buy two things. You're going to get the hearing protection that's going to come in at around 20 to 30 pounds. They vary in color. So I got the yellow one. Um, we've just brought this for a new team member that's joining the Risk Fluent Consultant side of the business. And I got them green um, just because it was cheaper. Then you're also going to have to buy the attachment. So you probably won't be able to see it. Just there, there's a little attachment that screws onto the hard hat, which enables you to uh, slide the hearing protection on and off. It's a bit fiddly, but you can actually take this off. 
relatively easy. You just need to have something pointy to kind of push the little clasp in and then you can pull the hearing protection out. So if you know you've got, you're not gonna wear hearing protection today but you need the hard hat, you can actually take these off so it doesn't get too heavy. So bit pricey, is gonna cost you around, all in all, about 100 pounds. You can get loads of added extras. You can have a visor on the front of it. You can also have like a, a sunscreen kind of, I don't know, scarf thing that comes off the back. There's loads you can do with these. Um, they're not cheap, but it's probably one of my best purchases when it comes to PPE. Up next, we've got my coat. So this is my high-vis coat. I went for the Port West Orange Rail Spec 3-in-1, and this is spot on. Um, this is lovely and warm, dead comfortable. It fits mega nice. I like them on QVC, uh, but it fits mega nice. It's really comfortable, it's dead warm. If it gets too warm, I can actually take the inner fleece out, hence three in one. I can also take the arms off as well. I can take this fleecy little extra bit off the top on, on the neck as well, and then I've got a hood in the back as well. This is genuinely the nicest coat I think I've ever worn. <laughs> and um, it's just absolutely spot on. I'm not sure I'd ever remove the arms from it. I tried it once at home and I thought it looked a bit stupid. Um, it would, you could probably say, oh, maybe I'll just remove the arms and use that as a high vis instead of having an orange high vis. You could do that 100% of work. I still think it'd be quite warm if it's a warm day. Even if it's not an overly warm day, I think it would, it's quite um, thick, if that makes sense. Rain-wise, I've wore this in the middle of the night on the side of the M1 in a Roadworks customer and it was bob on, I was nice and warm, it started to piss it down and I was completely fine. So very good, very comfortable, Port West 3-in-1 uh, high-vis coat. I got it in orange and black um, and I love it. Ultimately as well, it looks quite nice when you're wearing it, which I think is important. Um, comfortable, nice, loads of pockets on it as well. That's going to cost you at the moment on Workwear Express, Express, that's gonna cost you just over 70 pounds. We went with a local company when we got it, because uh, we wanted to get it branded. Uh, Workwear Express will brand it as well, um, but you're probably gonna be adding another 30 quid, if not a bit more, if it's the first time you brand with them, because there's like a setup cost. Next, we've got normal high vis So normal high vis I went with uh, two, because we've got some customers that are really specific on whether it's orange and what type of orange and stuff. So we've got a yellow and an orange. Um, so we've got the Leo Workwear Wharfton Superior. Um, I did, I did really like this, if I'm honest. I quite like the long sleeve uh, option. I could just roll it up if I need to. Um, there's a couple of nice pockets on the front. The only weird thing about this particular one, I'm not sure if it's the case with the other Leo workwear one, is I'm, I'm about a medium, sometimes a large. And this is a small, and it fits me perfectly. Actually, there's a bit of, there's a bit of a gap in it. So if you're thinking I'm large and you get a large, I think you're gonna be buying yourself a nice high-vis tent because the size on this is mad. This is a small, but ultimately fits me just perfect. So keep that in mind. I think I'm around, I don't know, 42 chest or something like that. Um, so that came up as a small. There is a size guide in Workwear Express, um, but it, it says that small wouldn't fit me and it totally does. Um, so yeah, again, we got this branded as well. You've got a nice kind of card bit for your CSCS card if you're that kind of guy. And then you've got a little phone holder that works all right. Um, yeah, some pen holders and stuff. I, I think this is really nice. It looks nice, it feels nice. It's not too heavy, it's not too hot in the summer. Um, you can just roll the sleeves up. Like I say, we got it in the yellow and gray as well. You can get it without the gray on the bottom. I just quite like the gray, so we got it on there. Um, currently on Workwear Express, they're going to set you back uh, for a cost for one, £9.60 each. Um, like I said, we got kind of two. I, I like them. I just chuck them on. They work, work well, look nice, feel nice, and it's absolutely spot on. And I've never had anyone say, you can't wear that here. But just remember that the sizing is a bit weird. Right, boots. Up next are boots. I actually have two pairs, two different pairs of safety boots. Um, I've got 
a bigger, more expensive pair of boots for the more chunkier, riskier sites like um, where we've got a lot of big plant going around, roadworks, um, also uh, anti-static um, requirements and stuff like that. If you want to get a kind of top of the range covers everything boot, you're going to be spending a lot of money. And these are probably um, the cheapest I could find that did everything. And these are the, you can see they've been worn. Uh, these are the Arco ST202 high leg. Um, these are going to set you back around 100, just over £133 currently, direct from Arco. These are the ones who got the metatarsal protection, um, which is soft. Um, feels nice, feel comfortable, and then if something falls on it, it basically kind of disperses the energy, which feels like it's magic, magic, but it's not, it's like, there's a, there's a safety brainiac episode where they run on custard, it's that, that's literally what's in here, not custard, but like, that same physics thing, you, you know what I mean. Got a nice zip on the side, which I, I thought was a bit stupid, until I put them on, and I was like, oh, this zip's really nice. Um, so yeah, the zip just gives it that little bit of tightness, got the laces on the front. I, I actually really like these. The only thing is like, they're massive and just really obnoxious, um, but ultimately very comfortable, um, relatively nice as far as safety boots go. Um, but these were literally are uh, acceptable nearly anywhere. The other ones who've got Old Faithful, these are my everyday safety boots. Um, these are dirt cheap, but I genuinely quite love them. They feel like I'm wearing trainers and these are the sight um, boots. The mod, the actual model, model? Do you call it range? The actual range of this one doesn't exist anymore at B&Q, but they've done some others that look very much the same. They're not the best for grip, they're dead flat on the bottom, but they're kind of perfect for the everyday. Just steel toe cap uh, boots and they look really nice and that's it really they're going to set you back um god knows because they don't exist anymore you can get a pair of sight boots from around 35 quid upwards from any b and q um we've got a number of working at height customers um we don't really go up to height that much or go up and do any work at height if that makes sense we tend to just kind of be access and observation so we've got kind of a very basic two-point harness and twin tail uh, lanyard which is kind of all madly tangled up but this is the JSP Pioneer um, with two uh, twin tail shock absorbed lanyards it's, it's nothing fancy it is just the basic kind of JSP rescue harness um, if you're working at height a lot and if you if if you are having prolonged periods on you know unprotected edges and stuff like that then I would probably start to think about maybe a bit of a better quality um, harness. The JSP Pioneer two-point harness um, is probably going to set you around back at around up to 100 quid. If you get the, ta the twin tails you're probably going to be looking at 150 to 200 as well. Obviously just wearing a harness without a shock absorber lanyard would be completely pointless. They're not magical so you would need that as well so you're looking at anything around up to 200 quid for a good harness and that we just got like bog standard because we, we kind of just go up have a look around make comments stand in the same place with somebody talking and then we go back down um that's it we don't really do any kind of work positioning or anything like that so that stuff can get pricey but for for us we've just got the bog standard um next i have safety glasses so i've got the riley rocker rx uh these are nice uh, it's surprisingly hard to get nice safety glasses in the uk apparently safety trump style um i did shop around for a long time and there's some really cool brands out in australia doing some really cool stuff with some nice looking safety glasses but their um, standards don't align with the British standards. And it was kind of like, yeah, I thought if we, if something did go wrong and I tried to claim an insurance, they're just gonna say, you weren't wearing British standards. So I decided not to go with those. Um, so I went with these. I should clarify, these are prescription, and that's kind of probably more the reason why I struggled, because I needed prescription safety glasses. So these are the Riley uh, Roka RX, like I say. They're nice, they're all right. They look like safety glasses. It would be nicer if we could make ones that look less safety glassery. Um, they're gonna set you back around 74 quid from safety specs and then just put this 
depending on your prescription. It might be some extra costs in there as well. But ultimately, these are spot on. Then it got a couple of pair of high-vis trousers. If you wanted to go full, full safety geek, then you can go full high-vis. These are Leo workwear. Um, Bideford cargo trousers. We got them in the yellow and the orange. Again, just because some sites are funny about what they want, so we just wanted to kind of nail it in one. These are actually surprisingly comfortable. Um, when the few times I have wore these has been on night jobs uh, on roadside, and I have worn them just over the trousers that I had on. Um, so I just had like some jeans on and I just chucked these on over and they were perfectly comfortable, worked really well. Um, and really nice. They're gonna set you back around 20, just over 20 quid each on Worker Express. I do have a bag that I carry around, which is full of RPE, just full of FFP3 and FFP2 uh, RPE. If you want to watch a video, on that, we did an unboxing in the RPE video. We'll link it in the description below. We've also got some Milwaukee Cut Level uh, 5 gloves. These are pretty cool because they've got something called Smart Swipe on them. You can get these from most like Arco or anything like that. I don't know how much these are cost because I was sent them for free. Thank you very much, uh, Milwaukee. And I've only got one of them, so kind of useless. I do also have some hearing protection from them as well. I don't tend to wear it very much, like I say, because I have to take my hearing protection, uh, my hearing protection, my hearing aids out to put that in, and it's just, it's a pain in the butt. But they, Milwaukee did give me this really nice bag, um, which I appreciate. <laughs> Finally, you can imagine carrying all of that PP around is an absolute nightmare, so, I store it in this massive box. It's actually not that massive. Uh, it's 68 litres. Uh, it's the Skyder box. And I got it from B&Q. Um, I think it's definitely intended for trades because it's got like a ruler on the top of it. Um, so I think you could also use it to cut stuff if you're into cutting stuff. I most definitely am not. Um, but yeah, this is spot on. It's got wheels on it. It's got some nice wheels along the side of it and you can, it comes with a nice lid, lid that clamps on. You can also lock that lid by buying some padlocks and just putting it through the holes if you're you know, really protective around your PPE. And it also comes with a nice handle and a little uh, device on the side you can clip this handle in and then carry it along with you. So you don't have to carry the box, you can just wheel it along like a suitcase. Um, genuinely, I know it sounds silly, but this box is a great purchase. We currently at the moment kind of share a family car um, and that family car is also my work car. And it's kind of annoying taking all of this PPE out, but with this box, I can just kind of take all my PPE box out and then put it back in. It's worked absolutely perfectly, um, really spot on uh, purchase. And it's only, well, it's currently £16.80, which pissed me right off because I brought a new one the other day and we paid £21 for it and now they're £16. So, you know, fuck you, B&Q. If I'm honest, you can have so much PPE. And up until the point of starting consulting and going to loads of different sites and so on, and wanting to brand stuff and wanting to probably look a little bit better um, because we were representing our own business, up until that point, I had very much survived on kind of hand-me-down PPE that I'd acquired from previous businesses that I'd worked for, you know, I've been given of high vis I've got an old high vis coat from um, from an old employer that has been my high-vis coat for years and it's never been a problem. Coincidentally, only recently have we entered industries that have um, really specific requirements. So, so the chin strap, for example, we got that for our work in a high and renewable and telecoms customers, but it just so happened that it's really common in roadworks to 
um, require a chin strap, so that kind of ticks all boxes there. Some roadwork sites prefer orange, they kind of go down the rail route, and obviously rail's got its own specific requirements as well. So we've got a hell of a lot. You, didn't, you don't need to spend this much money on PPE. For us, it's just about consistency, ease, um, probably a bit of style, which I do think is important. Um, and also just kind of maybe having a little bit better quality because we had control over buying it ourselves. We haven't got to buy it for 600,000 people or whatever. We were just buying it for me and one of a team member. So it just made sense for us to get some nicer stuff. Hopefully that's helped you. We've put all the links for the shops and the products in the description below to kind of help you out. Um, a cast helmet, there are numerous places that do it. We've actually found the best place to buy it from Amazon. I have tried to buy it from PPE providers. I've tried to buy it from other places. I've tried to buy it from Arco. Um, I've always found just a better price was on, was on Amazon. Um, most of our PPE when it comes to high vis and stuff was brought from White Row Express, like I've mentioned them a few times. Um, B and Q have had a few bits and Arco as well. Um, then our prescription glasses were from Safety Specs UK. Thank you very much. Catch you next week. Safe.